I don't know. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> anything interesting happen <laughs> over the weekend? <laughs> Breaking news, a newly surfaced video of Donald Trump uh, talking about groping women. The breaking news here on CNN, Donald Trump apologizing for vulgar comments. There's more breaking news now of Republicans turning against Donald Trump. Breaking news, Donald Trump just moments ago in a hotel right here in the St. Louis area appearing with uh, four of Bill Clinton's accusers. The breaking news right now, there are growing calls for Trump to step down. Breaking news on a Sunday night, the debate showdown a short time from now. Crutch. Vagina. Push Pussy. 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 Gucci. Pussy. Pussy. God damn! <laughs> Woo! You know, I'll tell you this. When the history of American politics is written, it'll be divided into two distinct eras. Before pussy and after pussy. <laughs> because since Friday, nothing has been the same. And no one saw this coming. At the end of last week, we were all waiting for the debates on Sunday. I remember people were like, ooh, what's he gonna say about his tax returns? <laughs> and now, we're in a completely different world. It's almost as if we left work on Friday, and we all know that we plan to have a little drink on Sunday night. <laughs> but then around 5 p.m. on Friday, the Trump train came into town with a giant keg of beer, smashed it on our face, <laughs> and we spent the rest of the weekend drinking and <laughs> face. That's what happened to us. <laughs> And I know, I know that everyone has seen the video of Trump on the bus already, but I want us to be on the same page. So, uh, we're gonna play it again for our one Amish viewer <laughs> who only breaks his Amishness just to watch the show. <laughs> so, this one's for you, Malachi. The conversation was recorded on a hot microphone in 2005 in an Access Hollywood bus. I did try and <laughs> her. She was married. <laughs> huge news, Sarah. I moved on her like a bitch, but I couldn't get there, and she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as in the purple. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Yes! Whoa! Oh, yes, the Donald has scored. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. Before we break down all of the disgusting comments Trump made on Billy Bush's bang bus, can we, can we just analyze, grab them by the pussy? Because honestly, I thought about this hard and long. I've never heard that phrase in my life. What kind of person grabs the pussy? That doesn't sound pleasurable for either party involved. I don't get it. Do you not know ladies? Like, m maybe it's, maybe it's a tiny hands thing. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe, maybe he can't hold it or caress it. He needs to grab it, because for Trump, it's like a baby holding a grapefruit. He just... <laughs> you know, people, you, we have to admit this. Trump has officially broken almost every record of scumbaggery in politics. Yeah. Like, the rules don't even apply anymore. Let's be honest, like, we couldn't have even imagined that these feats would be taking place. Trump's scandals right now are like when the first black guy joined white sports. You know, when everything <laughs> was going up, people were like, I had no idea that was possible. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and, and by the way, can we talk about Billy Bush for a second? Let's, let's talk about the, the, the sleazebag. Uh, I understand, I understand uh, that everyone has been in the presence of an unsavory joke, right? But there's a difference between laughing at the jokes you don't agree with and being an active accomplice. Because Billy Bush has said that he didn't agree with Trump. He was under pressure and so he laughed at them. Yeah, but that's not what it looked like when you see what he did when they got off the bus. How about a little hug for the Donald? He just got off the bus. Like a little okay, hug, darling. absolutely. <laughs> Melania said hug this for the was okay. I just got off the bus. Oh. It's hard to walk next to a guy like this. Yeah, you get in the middle. There we go. Good. That's better. This is much better. This right. is That's better. <sighs> now, if you had to choose, honestly, between one of us, me or the Donald, no, I don't know. That's, that's tough competition. Right there. Yeah. Seriously, I mean, you had to, you had to take one of us as a date. You have to take a fifth on that one. <laughs> wow, how do you fit that much sleaze into such a short video? <laughs> the two girls, one cup girls, are like, I would not want to switch places with her. <laughs> Trump just told Billy Bush how he forces himself on women, and at the first opportunity, Billy puts his pimp hat on and tries to make it happen? This was nuclear, because Trump already had few Republicans against him, but now, even those who had been with him through his anti-Muslim, Mexican, and black comments said enough was enough. Because the Republicans have won the White House without those groups, but there's one group they can't do it without. 
the ladies. We have a 15-year-old daughter, and, and if I can't look her in the eye... I'm a father of, of three daughters, uh, and I also cringe. Jeb Bush. Now, he tweeted, as the grandfather of two precious girls, I find that no apology can excuse away Donald Trump's reprehensible comments degrading women. Mitch McConnell. These comments are repugnant and unacceptable in any circumstance as the father of three daughters. It's degrading to our women, to our daughters, our granddaughters. I love how they feel the need to use the women in their families to justify their outrage. As a father of two girls, well, what if you don't have any daughters? Well, as the son of a woman. <laughs> what if you were just raised by two dads? Oh, well, as a first cousin once removed of an aunt. <laughs> what if you don't have a family as someone who has visited the Statue of Liberty, which is a woman? <laughs> the Trump tape shouldn't offend you on behalf of females. It should offend you as a human being, right? <laughs> and... And it turns out you don't even need to be a human to be offended. Tic Tac getting in on the responses to Trump's video. Trump mentioned that brand of mints in the video that surfaced Friday. Tic Tac tweeted that they respect all women and find Trump's recently revealed statements and behavior completely inappropriate and unacceptable. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. First of all, kudos to Tic Tac, like this is insane. <laughs> But you know, you know your words are bad when even the candies whose only purpose is to help cover up what comes out of your mouth say they can't help you. They're like that. <laughs> we can't even fix that, man. Don't involve us. Don't involve us. But yeah, here's the genius of the Trump campaign. And this is what really pissed me off this weekend. He gets caught on the tape boasting about sexual assault. And then they manage to spin it as something much different. This was locker room talk. That's what is said in a locker room. He was just talking about it with the boys amongst the bus, um, like the locker room. I've heard much worse than that. Really? <laughs> much worse than that in locker rooms. Uh, but, I but don't know. That's a... Much pretty, worse. Really? Believe me. What locker rooms are <laughs> you hanging out in? <laughs> That's a great question. What locker rooms is Ben Carson hanging out in? <laughs> no, think about this for a second. You can't imagine Ben Carson in the gym or participating in any sport that requires rapid movements. <laughs> Why is he in a locker room? There's no... Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe he does Tai Chi. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, and this might surprise you, but he's actually the quickest one in the class. <laughs> Everyone calls him the Flash. Slow down, Ben! And he's like, catch me... <laughs> if you can. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> uh... Let's, 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 let's work through this. Let's work through this. Two things about that locker room excuse. Uh, first, they're conflating sex talk and sexual assault talk, all right? Trying to make Trump's comments sound normal is not something that they're achieving, because I'm sorry, that is not normal. There is a big difference between saying dirty words and glorifying non-consensual sexual contact. Not every guy has these conversations. No, that's a crime. That's a crime. There is a big difference. People are like, oh, come on, guys talk dirty. Yeah, guys talk dirty, but guys are not all having conversations about sexual assault. It feels like more people are focused on, he said pussy. It's not about that. It's about him saying he forces himself on women. You tell me what's worse. A guy who says, uh, last night I dined with a lovely lady and I immediately afterwards I escorted her back to her residence and proceeded to caress her genitals despite her lack of invitation. <laughs> oh, oh, is this one worse? Oh, man, last night, I was rolling with this bad bitch, and I was like, yo, you gonna let me smash that ass? And she said no, and I was like, okay, no pussy for me. <laughs> Which one is worse? Which one is worse? <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Neither of them is ideal, but one of them is crude, and the other is against the law. <laughs> There's a big difference. It's not just, oh, locker room talk, locker... No, it's not just locker room talk. Oh, and by the way, Trump can try to excuse his behavior by calling it locker room talk, but you realize he wasn't in a locker room. <laughs> he was at a TV interview. If you conduct locker room talk everywhere, it's not the locker room, it's you, mother... <laughs> it's you! It's not locker room talk, it's him everywhere you go! <laughs> and besides... And besides, everyone knows, if you do locker room stuff outside the locker room, then there are serious consequences. The reason why I said that you were so arrogant is because you came in our dressing room and you took a crap and left the stench in the room. It was sort of gross, though, bringing that up. This is my boardroom. It's not a locker room. Maria, you're fired. Yeah, you see? 
That guy gets it. <laughs> yeah, he understands. Oh, but there, there, is, there is good news, folks. America has spoken uh, because somebody did get fired. Today's show host Billy Bush faces fallout from that leaked audio tape with Donald Trump. NBC says Bush has been suspended indefinitely. Welcome to the 2016 presidential election. If you're on TV and you say something that offends the nation, you're gonna lose your job. But don't worry, you can still run for president. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that video, click here to subscribe. Just keep the mouse pointer away from my face, please. Don't, no, don't, here, click here to, sub not, not my face, click here, please. Please, that looks, don't do that, that's sharp, that's sharp, click here to subscribe.